Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be unboxing the mid-2015 refresh of the 27-inch iMac. <laughs> All right, and to start off, if you guys want a chance to possibly win a brand new Apple Watch, just be sure to stick around to the end of this video for instructions on how to enter my giveaway. All right, and getting straight into this video, let's go ahead and take a look at the box first. So on the front, we simply have a picture of the iMac. Both sides sport the Apple logo, and the back has the iMac at a different angle, along with the Magic Mouse and the wireless Bluetooth keyboard. Now, interestingly, only this iteration of the iMac received a refresh, and it now starts at $1,900 $99, so the same price as the base model 15-inch MacBook Pro that I unboxed from yesterday. So if you guys happen to miss that video, just be sure to click on the screen now to be taken to it if you're interested. And actually finishing off our look at the box, on the top it says iMac, and it also lists the specifications over on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and quickly run through those now before we unbox it. Now like I said before, this configuration is basically $2,000. It sports a 27-inch display measuring diagonally, of course with the resolution of 5120 by 2880, that's 5K. It's powered by a 3.3 gigahertz quad-core Intel Core i5 CPU with turbo boost up to 3.7 gigahertz. It also sports eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3 SD RAM. It's capable of upgrading up to 32 gigabytes. It has a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive, so you're not going to get the speeds that you would from either a Fusion drive, which combines flash as well as a 7200 RPM hard drive, or again, flash memory. It also has an AMD Radeon R9 M290 with two gigabytes of GDDR5 graphics memory, a FaceTime HD camera, two Thunderbolt ports for high-speed I.O. that are backwards compatible with mini DisplayPort devices, an SD card slot, four USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet port, built-in stereo speakers and a microphone, as well as a headphone jack port, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, and it comes with both the Apple wireless keyboard and Magic Mouse. Now they've made unboxing this thing incredibly easy. You don't even need a knife. All you have to do is just pull this white tab with the orange arrow and you're good to go. Now pulling this top flap on the box here, I'm going to set it up so that we can fully open it to reveal the iMac. Now I love the way Apple packages their iMacs because the box is incredibly simple to open. So as you'll notice when I bring this top piece down, it exposes a bunch of styrofoam that's divided into three different sections. And the top piece actually houses something pretty interesting. It's a small box that says designed by Apple in California. We'll return to it in a second though. Pulling the computer up and away slightly, you'll notice that it has two pieces of styrofoam that are actually at the base to protect it, and then two on either side to protect the edges of the machine. Now normally the right styrofoam guard houses the power cable. As you can see, it even has this plastic piece affixed to it that would normally guard the cable, but the cable's actually just loose in the box this time. As you can see, it's in the back here, and all you have to do is just pull this plastic protector off of the cable and then plug the base of it into the back of the computer and the other end into the wall, and there you have it. It's really that simple. Fully taking the iMac out of the box, let's go ahead and remove a few things, starting with the cloth that's actually covering the display, followed by the plastic wrap protecting it before we actually return to the box that we found in the top styrofoam piece. Okay, now back to the plain box that says designed by Apple in California. Let's go ahead and slide the top piece off to reveal two things on top. We have the regular wireless keyboard over on the left-hand side. That's typical of iMacs. It actually has a plastic piece that we use to conveniently pull it out. I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic now. And we also have the magic mouse over on the right hand side. So basically just what you'd expect. It's covered in the same type of cloth material that the IMAX display was. And in the center we have a little booklet here. So getting a close up of that. On the top we have a quick start guide that just goes over some functionality of the iMac hardware and software, setting that off to the side. We also have two Apple logo stickers, a little important product information guide that we can set off to the side, as well as a microfiber cleaning cloth for the display. 
Now returning to the start of the video, I'm actually just going to plug the cable into it and turn it on and then go through the quick on-screen setup process and I'm going to go ahead and be right back and return once I have some benchmark tools installed. Now clicking up at the top, the Apple menu followed by About This Mac, Yosemite reports that this is indeed the Retina 5K 27-inch mid-2015 version powered by Intel's 3.3 gigahertz Core i5 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM and that it has as AMD's Radeon R9 M290 graphics card with about two gigabytes of graphics memory on board. All right, now that I'm back and I have the benchmark tools installed, one thing became evident when I was booting up and equally evident when I was actually going through the setup process, that the 7200 RPM hard drive makes it incredibly slow. I can't even tell you guys how much of a difference it is going from flash to that regular hard drive or even from a fusion drive to a regular 7200 RPM drive. It really does make a difference to have that flash memory and I definitely wouldn't recommend purchasing this computer, however, I would except for the simple fact that you can't use this computer in what's called target display mode, meaning you can't use it as a display for another Mac like you can with the non 5K iMac simply because the current mini display port spec can't send that high of a resolution. So if you get this computer, know that right now you can't use it as a display for any of the current Macs and know that it is absolutely gorgeous. It's incredible. I can't even tell you how crisp and clear the picture actually is. You really have to experience it for yourself. Even though this video is in 4K, you definitely can't get the true sense for it for a number of reasons that I'm not going to get into. But if you have a chance, definitely go down to your local Apple store and check out one of the 5K display iMacs. I just wish they made a dedicated or a standalone display similar to the one found in this iMac. And like my unboxing of this computer's smaller counterpart, I felt it necessary to bring up the standard 5K image that Apple has on their website for testing purposes. Like I said, it really does look amazing and there's just so much detail that's retained in this display and that it can pick up on in true 5K images. Zooming in here, you'll notice again that the detail is amazing for 5K. Like I said, Said this video is shot in 4K, but you can't truly appreciate it unless you actually see it in person. And switching over here to my MacBook Pro unboxing, I've bumped up the settings to 4K, and you'll notice that it also looks amazing. So even though the video is compressed on my end, followed again on YouTube's end and processed several times, it comes back looking truly gorgeous. So you will definitely appreciate 4K videos from YouTube or any other online streaming service with this machine. And now that actually brings up a good point. Let's go ahead and get into some speed tests. And now this is actually a good place to stop because let's get into that test on this computer. It's Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. So let's go ahead and close out of Safari just so we can get an accurate reading. Remember, we're not going to get anything too amazing and we're not going to really receive any incredible speeds on this iMac for the sole reason that, again, it uses a regular 7200 RPM hard drive. So getting started here, you'll notice that we have a write speed of around 140 megabytes per second, definitely slow compared to flash. And let's see what happens when we get to the read speed. So around 170 to 180, and it looks like write actually stopped a little lower than what I initially thought it would so let's wait for it to finish up this time around and it looks like we have about 144 megabytes per second and again around 180 to 170 for read it's starting to slow down there but definitely keep in mind that I don't have anything else open in the background here when I do command tab you'll notice that it's the only thing open aside from finder so let's actually go ahead and close out of it now and open up the other benchmark tool which in this case it is is Nova Bench. Now I like Nova Bench because it's incredibly simple. All you have to do is start it and then from there it will evaluate your computer and give you an overall or a cumulative computing score that again acts as a benchmark or a numeric representation of your computer's overall power or capabilities. Now finishing up here we have a final and somewhat sad Nova Bench score of 912. Now compared against that of the 15 inch MacBook Pro that I did an unboxing of yesterday, which was 1093. Again, this computer does fall short of that, but it makes sense when you think about it because the MacBook Pro not only has double the RAM, but it also has an improved CPU. However, for the lower end entry model iMac with the Retina 5K display, Apple had to make compromises somewhere because the display panel is undoubtedly the most costly portion of this all-in-one.
All right, and that wraps up this unboxing and quick review of the new mid-2015 27-inch iMac. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, just be sure to navigate to freeappsfast.com if you're interested in winning an Apple Watch. Rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section containing your referral code from Free Apps Fast, which is actually found in the fourth tab at the bottom after the equal symbol inside of the link itself. And if you guys want to be updated when I release new videos and you're not already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. And if you want to be updated even more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.